to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their 6'3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defense... It's ended their offense a short field. Big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. We're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. And this is going to go the other way. The defense has it. And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out, for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. They'll start here with Jackson. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. He'll get that to his tight end, Casper. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that they're indeed going for it as they look to throw they'll hit jackson complete and they're able to get this one across the 35. a curious decision to go for it but it pays off with a first down both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. A 
couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try to get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here we go, here we go. I'm not right. I'm not right. Go. On second down, this is Jackson. And a powerful stiff arm. It frees him. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 15 yards on the play. First down. After one. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The offense already on the field here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Took him a little too far at second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Connecting with Burton here over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Let's go now. Run on quick. Run on quick. They run on first down with Jackson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 54 yards rushing for it now. He's only carried the ball four times. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. They'll look to throw here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. With a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw is probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Second and five. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bears force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. 
Their goal is to keep them at the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. To throw again on second down. Dalton. Johnson's got it complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Passing. It's Dalton. Got a man. It's Harold Carmichael. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Dalton's throw caught here by Metcalf. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Another chance for Dalton. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Chicago! Justin Jefferson, 44 yards. And the Bears will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of the second quarter. Elliott Good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away from the six and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again he's doing his thing he's got some good yardage but his team right now in the second quarter zero points just not a complete formula half of it's there being able to run the ball and set the tone what if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone? I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so because the run has been very effective for them. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, three completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. remaining in the second quarter. Throw now on the final play. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. A dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at their own 37. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Fournette once more on second down. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here comes the Bears punter now, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now this is fielded in the end zone. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second down, another carry for Jackson. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in the cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. They'll try and throw for it here. Quick completion here to Johnson. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Up the middle they go with a big back Jackson. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll run again with Jackson. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 44-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get this down near the 25. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. The offense back out on the field here following the two-minute warning. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now a give, it's Jackson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Second down, another carry for Jackson. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. On third down, here's Bo. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown run. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. They'll look to throw, and it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So Dalton and the Bears now. Down 8-7, 109 to play. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. This will be caught by Harold Carmichael. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Here's Dalton. And he wisely will throw that one away. Second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Dalton. Completes this to Jefferson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 14 yards into Chicago first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Dalton, and this one too low. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to save for every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. 
They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Dalton. And incomplete on the deep ball. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, second to every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and as a result, possession switches hands. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Second down, another carry for Jackson. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Ready, break. On the give, here comes Jackson. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. <laughs> 